Number 25. What force must be exerted on the master cylinder of a hydraulic lift to support the weight of a 2,000 kilogram car resting on the slave cylinder? Master cylinder has a 2 centimeter diameter and the slave has a 24 centimeter diameter. All right, so here's the picture. We got to find the force applied to the master cylinder. The uh, diameter they told us was two centimeters. I already converted that into meters and divided it by two because the radius is what is important. Um, and the on the other, um, on the slave cylinder over here, we have a car, mass of 2,000 kilograms. And again, I did the same thing, converted that into meters and then uh, found the radius. So we are asked to find the force on the master cylinder. Now we know that whatever pressure is created from this force that is being applied over this area, okay, will equal the pressure that is experienced under the slave cylinder, okay? So what I can basically say here is that the pressure generated at this first location will equal the pressure generated at the second location. This is Pascal's principle. So P1 will equal P2. Now, let's expand on the pressures. Okay, we know we're talking about forces and it looks like we're gonna get into areas. So I'm gonna use now this equation. I'm gonna substitute F over A for each. So this would be the force on the master cylinder divided by the area of the master cylinder. Really, I could have called this the pressure of the master cylinder should equal the pressure of the slave cylinder, okay? So this will be the force at the slave cylinder divided then by the area of the slave cylinder. So if I want to find the forster, uh, the, the forster, that was, a, that was a combination between force and master. Anyway, if I want to find the force of the master cylinder, uh, all I got to do is solve this equation for F sub M, okay? So F sub M will equal uh, F sub S multiplied by A sub M all over A sub S. So this is really the formula, okay? Now all we gotta do is expand maybe a couple more terms and we're pretty good, okay? So let's see. So the force at the uh, applied to the master cylinder will equal the force that is being uh, created or generated or that is or that exists on the uh, on the slave cylinder. And notice that we're given a mass. So how do we convert from mass into force? We got to think about mg, right? So that is, this will represent the mass, excuse me, the force um, at the slave cylinder. Multiply that now by the area of the master cylinder. So it's, a, the area is circular. So that's pi r squared, right? So this would be the radius at the master squared, all divided by now pi multiplied by the radius at the uh, slave cylinder squared. All we have to do is now plug in the values, right? So the mass of the car is 2,000 kilograms. Gravity is 9.8. Pi, I mean, we can actually really cancel the pies, right? Because that, that'll simplify it a little bit. I'm running out of space, so I'm looking for things to cancel. And then that will be multiplied by the radius of the master uh, squared. So here we have 0 0.02, 0 0.02 all over 2, and that's squared. Then divide that all by now uh, 0 0.24 over 2, and that's squared. All right? Take out the handy dandy calculator and let's see what we get. So we get 2000 multiplied by 9.8, multiplied by now parentheses 0 0.02 divided by two, square that result. And then take that whole answer now divided by 0.24 divided by two and that's squared. So we get about 136 it looks like, right? So the force that we would have to apply to the master cylinder is gonna be 136 Newtons. So that's pretty cool, right? I mean. The force that now needs to be applied to this cylinder, okay, is going to be 136 newtons to raise a 2,000 times 9.8, to raise a 19,000 newton car, okay? To raise a 19, this thing was about 19,000, what was it, 600. This is about 19,600 newtons, all right? This is basically like mechanical advantage, all right? Um, you know, here's the force that's applied. Here's the, or I should say, here's the force that we put in. Here's the force that gets outputted. Okay, the distance will be different over which the, um, uh, over which the car travels, and then the 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 cil master cylinder travels. But that would be, you know, if we took if we took the ratio between these two, we could find the mechanical advantage. 
you know, of the master. All right. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so hope this helped, guys. Please remember to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next problem. Take care.